In a world where Vampire the Masquerade is known for janky but beloved RPGs, a game that single-handedly turned a bunch of nerds into nerds wearing eye makeup, that takes the most beloved aspects of the decades-old tabletop game and throws it all in the garbage to make yet another battle royale. Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt Sink your teeth into the latest in the kill people in a constantly shrinking circle genre, a game that was clearly named specifically to trick fans of the 2004 RPG Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Damn this my pants! To show up expecting another intricate vampire narrative, full of intrigue and twisting plot lines, only to find themselves shooting each other with automatic weapons on a single map. Because despite the gloomy gothic prog setting and the part where you suck people's blood, the rest of it feels a lot like playing a match of any other battle royale. As you spend half your time sifting through garbage, crouching behind cover to drink your slurp blood, and of course, shooting your vampire guns in pitched battles that do manage to capture some of the genre's appeal, but probably won't charm anyone who's not already a fan of these things. Okay, look, you can cover this in all the Blade aesthetic you want, but you're never going to get away from the fact that you're still very clearly playing PUBG for emos. Bite off a chunk of the changes Blood Hunt made to the standard Battle Royale formula as you choose from a handful of vampire clans whose powers and traits have been interpreted extremely liberally, then take to the city streets or, more accurately, run up the city's buildings like a cracked-out superhero as you scan for humans to suck off for various bonuses and benefits, then screw up and break the masquerade, which luckily doesn't get you dissected in a government laboratory, but just lets everyone know where you are for a while, which eventually just becomes a roadblock on your quest to shoot guns at other humans. Weird, it's almost like a game about vampires that have to stay hidden from human society is a bad fit for a genre about jumping around blasting everything that moves slightly. Gun down your foes with, uh, silver bullets, I guess? As you get used to Blood Hunt's gun-based vampire combat, where the constant long-range sniper battles of the early Battle Royale still exist, but are largely replaced by charging at your enemy like a linebacker, popping all your wacky vampire power antics, and then running around each other in a circle like idiots. In combat that can be fast, frenetic, and fun, but kind of loses the charm of the vampire thing along the way unless your ideal vampire fantasy is becoming a vampire to immediately get staked to death. Experience the dismal gesture Blood Hunt makes at its role-playing roots as you saunter your way through the hub area, a zone that captures the proper vibe for a vampire hangout, but whose quests are about as entertaining as going back to the hardware store because you bought the wrong screws, as they almost entirely involve some sort of tedious fetching or returning over and over to the same spot. In a design choice so half-hearted, it seems like the developers felt like they had to include it. But to be honest, nothing could top the clubs from Bloodlines. Yes, I am dancing. Check out my human dance moves. So grab your edgiest black vinyl pants and get ready to stalk the fort, night, in yet another game that someone thought was a good idea to make three to five years after it stopped being the hot new thing that must desperately hope to find an undeserved slice of the market to avoid being simply eaten by the unholy juggernauts that are every established BR at this point. <sighs> Come give me when Blood Hunt has Ariana Grande industrial dancing, okay? Starring Braha, OnlyFangs, The IRS, and Bram Stoker's Dragon D's Nuts. Vampire, it's Mormon time. If you like cosmetics, better buy the season pass. You're gonna be stuck wearing an outfit that will get you laughed out of the Vampire Country Club. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. When I joined the core, we didn't have any fancy schmancy tanks. We had sticks, two sticks, and a rock for the whole platoon, and we had to share the rock. Hello, Phantom Games. I want to play a game. If you're going through hell, keep going. Sometimes it takes a real man to be best girl.